Hey folks, this is John Oaks here coming to you from our Hankster's Hot Rods location in Homer City, Pennsylvania. Today we are going to go over this car that's sitting behind me right now. This is a 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Uh, it is a real Mach 1 and as you can see here it is done in this beautiful Calypso coral color on the exterior. Of course, it's got the black stripes up over the hood as well. Um, and it's got some stuff to kind of help accentuate it a little bit and break up some of that color there too. Uh, mainly just uh, kind of calling out the front air dam or chin spoiler on the front end of the car. It does have the black spoiler on the rear trunk as well as a set of rear window louvers on it as well. As I said, it is a Mach 1. It does retain the Mach 1 hood scoop up here on the hood that is in great shape and again you see in your stripes you see the markings here for the 351 which is in fact what's underneath this hood a 351 cleveland and we'll get to the engine and the drive line here just a little bit later as we go underneath the hood as far as the uh, overall condition of the car everything is excellent on this car here the paint is beautiful the metal is nice and straight all the way around on this car all of your gaps, your elevations, uh, body lines, and so forth, all of that stuff is in great shape. And again, you can always use the photos that we have listed in our advertisement, uh, as well as this video, to kind of go through and see all of that stuff as we walk around. As far as wheels and tires on this particular car, we do have a nice set here of the steel chrome and black Magnum 500 style wheels. These are 15 inch wheels, both front and rear, along with BF Goodrich radial TA rubber wrapped around those. And the size on those are 235 60 R15s on all four corners. Uh, now, as you can see, the bright work on this car, your bumpers, all of your um, bezels around your marker lights and tail lights and so forth, your wheel lip moldings, rocker moldings, all of that stuff is in great shape. As you can see, it does retain that Mach 1 uh, emblems and badging within that rocker molding. Of course, the Mustang script emblems too on the front fenders. Up here on the doors, we're gonna have uh, the dual color matched um, mirrors here, the outside mirrors. The driver's side is a remote uh, adjust mirror. All of your window moldings up around your rain gutters, that's in great shape. Door handle chrome in great shape too. There's no pitting on those door handles. The glass everywhere in the mirrors, the side windows, even your quarter windows here, the glass is in great shape. No chips, cracks, scratches to speak of there. Let's go ahead and take a look at that interior. Now, as far as that goes, as you can see, it's done with the white seat upholstery, the white door panels. It does have that black, uh, uh, like the carpeting type stuff down at the bottom. The carpet itself done in black, dash also. Um, all of that is in great shape. So your dash, there's no uh, cracks or anything there. The carpet, no rips, tears, fading in the carpet. Your dash retains all of the factory gauges, including the clock over on the passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, you do have a full length center console there with the automatic floor shifter for the FMX automatic transmission. Uh, all seat belts are installed and in working order. You have the wood grain steering wheel. And then as far as, far as the radio, it is an aftermarket uh, AM FM CD player. Uh, door sill plates are, are in great shape. Even all of your seals up around the windows here, those are in great shape as well on the car. Um, it does retain your stickers and so forth for your VIN identification with all of your codes. Uh, we do in fact also have the Marty report. So all of that is gonna all match up here on the car. We close the door, it shuts nice and easy. And again, those gaps nice and tight on this car. We'll work our way to the back of the car. I already mentioned those rear window louvers, which are in great shape, all mounted down nice and secure. All of your trim, the bright work around the window you can see is in great shape there. I also mentioned that rear trunk spoiler. This thing looks great on this car. 
As we come around to the tail of the car, you'll see the black stripes across the, the trunk there and the quarters. You do see that Mach 1 emblem here right in the center of the trunk. Of course, your Mustang gas cap, the nice trim across the tail panel, and then of course your tail lights assemblies, the lenses, bezels, everything. All of that is in great condition. The bumper, beautiful chrome on this bumper, no scratches or pitting whatsoever, mounted nice and tight there. And as far as the lower valance, you can see it retains your backup lights, as well as you'll see those dual exhaust tips on the back of the car. So let's find the right one. There we go. So the key and the lock actually do work. Uh, Latch is in great shape. Your underside of the trunklet, same Calypso Coral as the exterior of the car. The, uh, the actual weather stripping here, the seals around the trunklet, you can see are in excellent shape. It meets right together here in the center. You even have your, like your jack and, and spare tire instructions here on the underside of the trunklet. Um, all of your, your rain channels and so forth here, water channels around the trunk, all good and solid. Um, you can see no, uh, no uh, rust whatsoever around those. Uh, and then inside here, we've got a full set of floor mats for you. As I always tell everybody, we always elect to leave those out for filming purposes so we can show you the actual condition of the carpeting that would be underneath these. But anyways, the main section of the trunk floor here, uh, as we all know with the Mustangs, is mainly made up of your fuel tank. It actually sits down in from the trunk. Then, of course, you have your side uh, panels here, which are in great shape. We'll close this up. Again, trunk shuts nice and easy. Again, coming around the passenger side, this is nice and straight the whole way down the side. Gaps, elevations, all of that stuff that I mentioned before, all nice and tight all the way around. All of your moldings, your chrome on your door handles, passenger side mirror, all of your glass, all in great shape on this car. We'll go ahead and look from the passenger side now of the interior. That way you just get to see from both sides what that interior looks like. So again, no rips or tears in any of the seat. The upholstery looks to be in great condition. Same thing with the carpeting, the dash, all of that, all in great shape. And that white interior, I know a lot of times in these older cars, you know, it can get to looking, you know, a little aged, but this looks absolutely great. Passenger side door shuts nice and easy also. And then we'll continue our walk around here to the front. You've got your fender mounted antenna. And then that brings us to the front of the car. So up front here, of course, you've got your uh, 1970 front uh, fascia here on the car. Everything looks nice. The grill itself is in great shape. It's not bent up, not dinged up. Uh, just nice color and everything up here. The actual bumper, again, nice chrome, no pitting, no scratching whatsoever all of your bright work around the leading edge of the hood here and around all of your grill and so forth that is in great shape i already mentioned that front chin strap underneath there that's in great shape and then of course your hood back up to this then with the uh, mach 1 hood you do have in the hood scoop you do have these twist style um, hood latches here or hood locks um, we look up at our glass the windshield is in great shape. No chips, cracks, or scratches whatsoever. All of your trim around the windows in great shape. And again, nice set of wipers. Uh, in the back of your hood scoop, also keep in mind, it does have the directional signals in there, uh, your turn signal lights. Those are functional as well. So we'll go ahead and twist our hood locks here. And then what we'll do is we're gonna go underneath the hood and we will take a look at what's underneath here there we go so as we raise the hood up you'll see the underside of the hood painted that same calypso coral as the rest of the car there so everything looks super nice underneath here and then as far as the engine compartment everything is done in like a gloss black here the motor itself is a 351 cleveland motor now this is not the uh, original numbers match motor uh, but a 351, you can see it's got the factory style air cleaner on it. You've got your um, strut uh, mounts there for your shocks. 
And then as far as everything underneath the air cleaner down, we do have a uh, Edelbrock four barrel carburetor there. It's got a wind accelerator intake on it. You can see the chrome valve covers with the breathers. Um, it also has a Ford Motorsports uh, distributor in it with plug wires. MSD um, distributor itself, MSD Blaster 2 coil also. It is a power steering, power brake car as well. It's disc up front, drums out on the back. You've got the factory or stock style radiator here with shroud. And I believe it is a, let me take a quick peek. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. A six blade fan. And it looks to be like it's a, uh, let's feel it here. It is one of those, kind of like those flex light fans so that the fins will actually straighten up as it picks up more and more speed and kind of reduces resistance and so forth like that. Um, so that is the engine. So with that said, uh, that's pretty much everything for the exterior of the car, inside, uh, and then underneath the hood for now. As I said, we're gonna go ahead and get this up on our lift and we'll show you the complete underside here next. Um, just something to remind all of you out there that's watching this video uh, or any of our other videos that we have listed out there. Um, you can always, if there's something that you think is missing as far as component wise that you would like to have added, things like air conditioning, maybe, you know, different wheels, tires, maybe not so much on this car, but maybe on another car. Um, don't hesitate to ask us. Definitely reach out to us, give us a phone call, shoot us an email, send us a text uh, asking us what those things might be that you're interested in having on your car. And uh, we will be more than happy to get you a quote on that stuff and get right back to you with that. Uh, also, keep in mind that on most of our cars, just kind of keep an eye on our website because we will list it right there. Most of our cars, the retail price does include uh, shipping, free shipping um, to you um, anywhere within the contiguous 48 states. Uh, we also are the only ones in the country that will offer a powertrain warranty. Now, it's a three-month, 3,000-mile warranty uh, on the powertrain. That's engine, transmission, rear end. And that is pretty much it for this vehicle on the outside. Let's get this closed up. We'll go underneath it and show you what the underside looks like. Hey, guys, we got our Mach 1 up in the air. We're going to do our undercarriage review, as we always do. Starting at the front, your um, control arms look to be of a stock style. We do have KYB front shocks, and we have KYB rear shocks as well, but we're gonna see those as we get back there. We do have disc brakes on the front, drum brakes in the rear. So disc front, drum in the rear. Um, our front belly bar here looks good. I don't see any holes or anything in that. Our front sections of the frame look good. and look good. Our oil pan, which you can see is a chrome oil pan on R351. Seal looks good there. Rear main seal. Our automatic FMX transmission seal. And our output seal all look good. Those are all nice and dry. I don't see any leaks on any of those. We do have dual exhaust on the vehicle. We got long tube exhaust headers. We've got a crossover pipe here going back into dual flow master mufflers, and we're going to see those as we get back there farther. Um, coming on back a little further, our transmission cr uh, cross member here. That looks good. Our floors look good up in here. We got all of our embossments up in here behind our exhaust. That looks good. Out here on both sides, you got all your embossments here. You can see your lines. That looks good. It looks good here. If you get back a little further, you can see your grommets are all present on both sides. All your embossed lines are all present, coming the whole way back to this point. And we also have our drains here as well. We got our e-brake cables running back to the rear wheels. We got a balanced drive shaft. Now coming back here, we got our dual exhaust, and these are Flowmaster mufflers. Our input seal at our differential and our gear set seal 
nice and dry. I don't see any leaks there either. We do have, like I had said, KYB rear shocks, and we got leaf spring suspension on the back as well. Our front leaf spring mounts both look good. Coming on towards the back of the car, we do have a rear sway bar on the car, right up here. Um, our exhaust comes up and out and exits through the cutouts and the valence and the chrome tips. Like I had mentioned, we got drum brakes on the back. Our floor up above the differential looks really good. All your lines, your fitting, your stampings are all present there. That all looks really good. Our rear sections of frame look good. And look good. Our rear spring hangers or shackles look good. And look good. Our fuel tank looks really good. It is painted in a black. Remember on this model year of Mustang, um, your tank is part of the floor up there. That's why you don't see straps because it is part of the floor, which we had shown. That looks good. All in all, looks really nice under here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this down, fire it up to hear the engine run. 